All right, so this title was crazy as hell. Let me read the title again, bro. Betrayed on both sides. 34-year-old man got his wife stolen by a 19-year-old boy that they adopted. I grew up in a youth home, um, so that was part of the reason that we were helping this kid. Um, I had several people through the years that have helped me out um, in similar ways, um, and I just wanted to kind of give back and be there for somebody else like so many have been for me. Um, so basically, we moved this kid in, in February. Um, we were helping him through his senior year of high school, uh, his last semester, and trying to uh, kind of give him the family that he never had, so to speak. Um, he eventually started calling me dad, calling her mom. We looked into kind of the adoption process to give our last name to him. Um, and eventually <clears throat> started seeing some things that were not cool. Um, the way they were interacting, spending time together alone. Um, no matter how many times that I tried to have a conversation with them about it um, separately together all the way around. You know, it was, I was making too big of a deal of things and um, basically there was nothing going on. Um, it wasn't until um, mid-May, early June that I started finding out what was really happening. Um, they'd been having, they were in a relationship um, and I don't know to what extent they were involved. Um, but since about mid to end April and they ended up moving out together in June, um, to go live at her parents. Um, she left first in the middle of the night. Um, and he followed a couple days later, um, again, under the premise that nothing was going on. Just want to know how to proceed forward with this. So, um, at every step of the way through this process, her parents have been there. They're paying for her divorce attorney. Wow. Um, they have housed him, given him a truck, paid for him. To wow. Do things. Um, just completely supported them in every way possible. That shit crazy, bro. Oh, man. I'm going to tell y'all one thing right now. You can't stop somebody for, you know, doing what they want to do as a grown, grown ass adult. You can't get in between cheating if somebody want to cheat. Like, it's nothing you can do. It's on them to make that decision on their own. It's a personal decision that someone has to make to not cheat on you. So him having that conversation with them, him thinking that's going to be a change, all that's going to do for them is let them know that they have to hide better. That's it. They just have to hide better. And at some point, they stop giving a fuck about hiding and just getting away with it in the meantime until they go ahead and decide to move out and do their own thing. So listen, man, it sucks you bring somebody into your own crib and they come and do you like that. You know, you moving out of the kindness of your heart and then people do you like that. And I know that could be very discouraging to a lot of people like, damn, that's why I'm never going to be doing this, that, and the third. Um, what I would say is don't ever change your character. Always remain, you know, a good person. But if you're a good person, you have to protect your character more. You feel what I'm saying? Like if you have um, an expensive car or expensive jewelry, anything that's expensive, you up the security. So if you are a person that's a good person, then you need to up your security when it comes to who you let in your life and who you let use you. You got to up that security. So that may come to have some harsh conversations or some harsh boundaries when it comes to who you let in because everyone should not have access to you if you are that good of a person. And that goes along with so many different conversations, so many different conversations. When it comes to dating and vetting, you should vet a little better, you know, vet a little harder, especially if you are somebody that's of of, of worth. You know your worth and it takes it should take a lot to get you. It should take a lot to get you. Because you offer a lot, you know? You offer a lot. That's why, you know, I don't understand how I don't want to bring this straight to ladies, but I can bring this to dudes too. I don't understand how ladies don't understand how have a, being a whole, being extra promiscuous doesn't lower your value. If you are somebody that's worth having, you should be tough to get. I don't get why dudes feel like you let everyone have your resources, giving everybody your bread. This is when it comes to simping, doing more for people than they do for you. No reciprocity at all. That's being a simp. That's really being a simp doing more for people than they do for you, especially in relationships, definitely in relationships. Simps end up in situations like this a lot. I done been there before. I've been there before several times on that simp shit. I done been there before several times on that pimp shit too, you feel me? <laughs> Duality. Duality, that's the beautiful thing about life. But finding that balance is very, very important.
But once again, to reiterate, create those boundaries, up the security. The better you become, it's time to up that security more. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. Sorry for that boy right there, man. That's a crazy situation, but it's your boy Stacy, your favorite conditional lover because I fuck with you. And the reason why, because you, you fucks with me. I'm out. Hey, nah, nah.